not the most high. There is a vanity which is done upon the earth that there be just men unto whom it happeneth according to the work of the wicked. Again, there be wicked men to whom it happeneth according to the work of righteousness. I said th that this also is vanity. And that is, that's very true, man. That you see wicked men uh, being rewarded, prolonging their life, but then the righteous man, you know, uh, his life getting cut short. Hate it. You know? That's why the Lord said, Woe unto you that call evil good and good evil, man. Because the good thing is his word, the evil thing is outside of his book. Man. The scriptures say your women are wicked, your children are wicked, your men are wicked, wine is wicked. The only thing that triumphs above all that is righteous is the word. The Lashawan Kadash, the holy tongue, man. Which is the Paleo Hebrew. With the pure language which is compiled in this book, man. That's it. Nothing else. We're as, we're as filthy rags, man. That's why we need a, our Heavenly Father, our power, man. But that's why He sends out the men of the Lord to tell you these things. Let's go over here to the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom cries without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttereth her, vo her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. That's what the Most High is doing right now, pleading with you, man. Begging you. Saying, hey, turn back to me, man. Everything will be all right. Get right. Cast off the works of darkness. Matter of fact, we bring that up. Let's go to Romans. 13 and 11 and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than we believed and that's why I said in Jeremiah 28 and 8 the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence okay that's how we know our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. Because we have that, we have we see all the signs that are going, going on across the whole earth. That's our measuring stick on how to discern the times. Okay? And not going based off by your emotion or because you may make money or because you got everything going good in your future, in your, in your, in your life. Your 401k is looking good. All your kids are going to college. Because that's all, all a distraction, man. Because we're not living in good times, man. Anybody says that we're living in good times, you're, you're, you're basically delusion. You're, you're delusional, man. If you think that we're living in good times. If you think that this world, that this current existence that we live in is good. There's nothing good about this place. A strong delusion has been placed upon your own mind for you not to see the truth. And the men of the Lord are the only ones that are saying this, man. All right. You got like uh, you got you got Joe Osteen that that Edomite that 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 that, that preacher that all he t all he talks about is prosperity, man. He ain't warning you. He ain't telling you that destruction is coming. What the mark of the beast is? He ain't telling you none of that. You know, you got Creflo Dollar, that 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 that, that so-called black man. All he preaches, all he wants is money. All, all those mega mega churches, all those pre preachers, all they do is want money, man. Since, since I made mention of that, let's back it up. This is a uh, Micah three and eleven. The heads thereof judge for reward. And the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divide for money. You know? The scriptures say, buy the truth and sell it not, man. 
you know? What's greater than money? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that's compiled in the book, man. Wisdom is far exceeds the, 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 uh, the worth of rubies and gold. And how much more a son of the Most High that, that is delivered, man, that, re, that uh, turns from his wickedness and comes back to the mercy and grace of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh That far exceeds money. I'd rather have that than somebody giving me some Federal Reserve notes, man. That ain't worth nothing. You can't buy nothing with no dollar no more. This ain't in the, the 60s and the, uh, what is it, the 50s, 60s, and 70s. We could buy a lot of things with one dollar bill, man. You can't buy nothing with one dollar bill. And don't get, don't get it simple. You, you can buy certain things. You can buy little plastic toys when you go over there to certain uh, uh, restaurants and stuff like that for 50 cents. But I'm talking about things that are, ne that are necessities to, to your life, to you existing to, to survive, man. Food, water, clothes. Can't buy nothing with the dollar. The Federal Reserve note is done. The, the economy of America is done. Hyperinflation. That's a sign of a, a kingdom's downfall, man. America, Babylon the Great, will fall. It will be destroyed by way of thermonuclear destruction, man. The ICBM missiles. Okay? Great Babylon. Go back to Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24. Because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. And you got a lot of people that turn back their hand. They don't want to hear the Lord. They don't want to come back to the Father. The scriptures say, make no, make no uh, tarry. For, well, let me bring it out. Sirach chapter 5. Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And that's the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. That's a true saying. Because if you hear this word and you, you, you reject it and you walk away and you keep going and living your life in wickedness, the Most High is going to bring a calamity upon you, man. Destruction. And that's for many people, man. Many people are going to die on, on, on this side. Now you got people getting stirred up with this coronavirus. You know? People are dying. You know? And it's just going to get worse. These are the beginning of sorrows, man. As, as Yahweh Shai had coined it. All these things that ye shall see, the rumors of wars, kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation. Right? Uh, 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 earthquakes and famines in diverse places. And the pestilence, which the pestilence is the plague, which is uh, uh, the coronavirus. Is that not in diverse places? Now it's reaching over here to America, man. They had their first death here in the United States in Washington, man. This morning it was uh, uh, reported, the first uh, reported death uh, by way of the coronavirus is here in Washington. This ain't no joke, man. It says, But ye have set at not on my counsel, and with none of my reproof. Right? Meaning that you rejected his counsel. You rejected the voice of him by way of a man of the Lord coming out to the highways and the byways. That's set up upon, this is a highway and a byway, man. Highway, byway, sidewalk. I also will laugh at your calamity. <clears throat> I will mock when your fear cometh. So the Lord is saying that he's going to laugh at your calamity. That the Lord is going to delight in the downfall of America, man. He's going to delight in the downfall and the destruction of you, uh, of you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians that rejected him, that rejected his men, that despised the message by way of his messengers, man. When your fear cometh as, as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, 
when distress and anguish cometh upon me. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. That's a silly thing to do, man. That's a silly thing to do to not um, uh, choose the Lord. There should be a scripture on that. And get, one's coming to my mind, but it has to do with wisdom, which is the same thing. Because it's the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls, right? Yahweh Shai is written, in vol is, a writ is written in the volume of a book. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10, uh, verse 8. For regarding not wisdom, they got not only this hurt, that they knew not the things which were good, but also left behind them the, to the world a, a memorial of their foolishness, so that the things wherein they offended, they could not so much as be hid. But wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her. And who is, who is the written word? Yahweh Shai. You see? So it's a foolish thing to cast off the Most High, man. Let's go over here to Jeremiah. Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 19. It says, Oh, I'll start at verse 13. I'll start at verse 12. No, I'll start at <laughs> Salakia. I'll start at Jeremiah 2 and 11. Had they nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which did not profit. You see? You change your glory for that which the not profit. What is your glory, man? Your the wisdom and knowledge and understanding before the nations. Right? That's your that's the uh that's the thing that the Mosai has separated you. Let me find it. He made you special, you know, uh special of, 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 above all other people. Brothers, bear with me. We try to find it. Where is this? Okay, I'm done with that one. This is Deuteronomy chapter four, uh, verse five. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord your power commanded me, that you should do so in the land whither you go to possess it. And you're, you're in the land of America, in the land of your captivity. So you, so you are commanded to rehearse the righteous acts, the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Keep therefore and do them. You have to keep them and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great? Who hath God so nigh unto them, as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons sons okay right so going back to Jeremiah that's your glory man that was our glory our power here the wisdom man to have Yahweh Shai nigh unto us but because you cast it out the, the Most High have has separated himself from you okay he has get, turned you over to your own ruin. That's why when you go into Deuteron Deuteronomy chapter 28, 15, 15 down to 68, it talks about the curses that are going to fall upon the most high's people, man. You know? But if you had uh, uh, obeyed his voice, then all these blessings would have fell upon you. Meaning that you were going to be on top. You weren't going to be at the bottom of the barrel. Okay? 
It says, Jeremiah 2 and 11, Had the nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which does not profit them. Because all the other nations, they're still doing what heathens do. But you, but you had the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You had the skill. You had the, uh, the, the, uh, the talent. Right? You had the beauty. You know? You had the protection, the hedge of protection from the creator of all things, the universe. But you changed that. You gave that up. You played as Esau. You know? It says, Be astonished, O you heavens, at this. And be horribly afraid. Be you very desolate, saith Yahweh, man. Because that's a, that's, a, that's a scary thing to not have the power with you, man. To not have Yahweh by Shem with you next to you because we walk in the peril of our overthrowing, man. Everywhere we go, we turn, could be our own destruction. That's why I say America's not safe. Mexico's not safe. Canada's not safe. Going to, to, to the other side of the world is not safe, man. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewn them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Right? They 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 they, they uh put their hopes into into something that can can can't hold anything, man. Can't hold no weight. Can't hold no water. You know? It, it's artificial. It has it has no. It's not durable. You, you see? Yahweh he's durable. He gives you the things that are durable, that are made to last. But you cast it off, man. It's a foolish thing to cast off Yahweh Shai to reject him. And you can you can reject the Lord by rejecting a man of the Lord that's on the highways and the byways. Tells you that in the gospel. Yahweh Shai spoke of that, man. You know? Yahweh Shai spoke of that. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me, man. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. Talking about the Father, Yahweh. It says, Is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Why is he spoiled? You see? And Israel really, he's not a slave. He's not a home, uh, uh, uh. He's not a, uh, a servant. Or a homeborn slave, man. He's supposed to be on top. He's supposed to be on top, ruling all nations, man. You know? That, that, that are kings and priests. You know? But because of you separating yourself, you become that. Because of you separating yourself and rejecting the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, not obeying his voice. Now you are a homeborn slave. Now you are a servant. Now you are spoiled. Why? You're, why are you spoiled? Because you rejected the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You committed adultery, idolatry, spiritual fornication, man. Spiritual adult, adultery with other nations, the other gods. That's why you're spoiled. Man. It says. The young lions roared upon him and yelled, and they made his land waste. His cities are burned without inhabitant. All these other nations came and, and destroyed you, man. It says, also the children of Noph and uh, to, ha to happiness, or yeah, to happiness, have broken the crown of thy head. To happiness is a place in Egypt. Okay. It says, Hast thou not procured this unto thyself, in that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy power, when he led thee by the way? And now, what hast, what hast thou to do in the way of Egypt, to drink the waters of Shahor? Or what thou hast to do in the way of Assyria, to drink the waters of the river? Thine own wickedness shall, shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy power and that my fear is not in thee, saith the Lord power of hosts. Yahweh. See? Yahweh. 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 Y
crazy. It's not a wise thing, man, to cast off this, this wisdom, not to understand it. You know? Especially in this time, especially speaking to the brothers, they having thoughts of of, 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 of of giving up or, you know, something, you got something going on in your life and it's hindering you or, you know, you're struggling. Man, it, don't ever let that come into your mind. You better rebuke that shit, man. Get rid of it. Keep pushing, man. Have the mentality of a winner. Have the mentality of a champion, man. That you're going to overcome. That you're going to see that you're gonna see, you're gonna get that reward, man. You have to. If not, you're gonna lose hope. You have to have vision, man. That's why the people out here, you see people just giving up. They gave up on life, you know? They gave up on being good. They gave up on being righteous because they they, 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 they follow the multitude to do evil, man. They, they lose hope. They start, they start buying into that BS. If you can't beat them, join them. Fuck that, man. You got to have the mentality of that. You can't, have, you can't have the mentality of that, but have the mentality of saying, fuck that shit, man. I ain't going to fall into that. I ain't going to follow nobody. I'm going to follow the Lamb with it, so wherever he goeth. As it says in the Revelation chapter 14. Like Peter and the, Paul, the apostles said, I'd rather obey the Most High than men. Right? Strive, on, strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for you. That's how serious minded you have to be, man. And we have to keep that same mentality to the very end. Not just right now. Not just in front of the camera to brothers. Or because uh, we don't, we don't, we're not seeing anything yet because it hasn't touched home yet. Even when it touches home, we have to have that same mentality. Because everybody else, they're going to fold whenever all things pop off here in America, man. They're going to they're going to get scared. They're going to they're going to uh, curl up in the fetal position. Because why? Because they're going to see that great destruction, that great death that's going to come upon America. And they're going to know at that time that the a, a prophet had been among them telling them and telling them 10 years telling them, telling them day in and day out, man. Rising up early, the pro, the the, men, the 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 elders of Great Millstone doing it for thirty plus years, rising up early, going out to the highways and the byways, man, until they're grow to they're old and gray. That's dedication, man. You have to have dedication in this. You know. You gotta have dedication, man. You gotta present your body a living sacrifice. That's part of that dedication. Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. And how is how are you able to perform that, man? For 30 plus years. How are you able to perform that for 30 plus years? Right? But like by, by the Lord. Philippians 2 and 13. For it is the most high which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. That's how, man. And to reside in the fear of the Lord. Right? Like it says. First Corinthians 9 and uh, 16. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. So a preaching and prof a prophet is the same, a preacher and a prophet is the same thing, man. Goes back to the same thing. So woe is me if I preach not the gospel. Okay? And it's 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 the most high that puts the will in you and to, to do his good pleasure. That's how you are able to do your reasonable service for for X amount of years or to do it to the very end. You see? That's the only way. 
can't do it by your own power, your own will. And, and, and brothers, you could, you, us brothers, we experience that because you know there's times where the flesh gets the best of you. The, what does the flesh naturally want to do? The flesh wants to do its own thing. It wants to do what the world wants to do. The, the flesh wants to sit on the couch and watch movies, watch, you know, uh, uh, YouTube and just be on your phone and or go to the mall and go to the stores or go out of town, go go on, on vacations and or just be with, up your woman's ass or, you know, having sex all damn day or, you know, hollering at bitches, going to the bars, drinking, cooking. That That's that's what the flesh wants. So as brothers, we know that we experience things like that. So we know. That's why we tell brothers, encourage brothers to exercise the spirit because it's very important to continue to, to read and to study and to keep your mind preoccupied on the Lord because that's what's going to keep you focused, man. That's what's going to keep you focused on, on the goal, on that finish line, on being a champion or over, to overcome, man. You know? Paul even said it, man. We're right here. Uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 23. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. That's right, because we want to be partakers with Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is in the heavens. He's with the angels and other brothers that have, may have passed on. They're up there with him, man. You know? It says, And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that I, that ye may obtain. You see? Run, so run that you may obtain. There's always a finish line at the end of that, that marathon. Always. This is not going to continue forever, brothers. We will see it. We have to believe and have faith in that. Everything is set up. Everything is set up perfectly. This is Great Babylon. This is spiritually Egypt. This is spiritually Sodom. All the signs are there. You know? All the signs are there. Men waxing worse, deceiving and being deceived is here. It's here, man. That new song that is spoken of in the book of Revelation, it's here. This is it. There's no, there's nothing else. It ain't gonna get any sweeter or better than this, man. This is it. It's overcome the doctrine of Christianity, man. The brothers are waking up everywhere. You know, there's more camps of GMS than any other camp. You know, ain't no ISUPK, ain't no GOCC. You don't see none of them down people out anywhere, man. IUIC. Like I said, you got IOIC here. They ain't out. Because why? Because they're not the true prophets of the Lord, man. They're not the real men of the Lord. And I ain't boasting. I ain't doing none of that. I'm just making a point. I'm just making a point. That the men of the Lord are out here prophesying of evil and of war and of pestilence, man. We've been telling you and telling you. And telling you how Bashim Yahweh has been telling you and telling you and telling you, man. It says, And every man that striveth for, for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I. Not as one that beateth the air. You see? Meaning that he has faith. He's doing it for a, 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 a crown, man. That is worthy to uh, work for. This is uh, Revelations 3 and 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, Yahweh, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power and will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches, which is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. 
Yahweh being the Father's name, which means He exists, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai, which means He is salvation. Okay, those are those new names because there's no those names have not been on the earth as long as the names as Jesus Christ. These are, these are new names that are being preached. Man. It's not Yeshaya, it's not Ahaya. Okay. It's not Yeshua, it's not Yahweh, it's not God, it's not Lord, it's not Jesus Christo, it's not Jesus Christ. It's Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh wa Yahweh Shai. Right? Yahweh wa Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Or Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. That's what it is. And that only comes with faith, man. You know? That's just with faith. There's nothing we can do to try to convince anybody other than what the Most High gave us is the word. That's all we. That's as far as we can go. You know. Uh, let's go over here. This is Second Timothy's <clears throat> two. And three, therefore, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shammashiach. No man that wars entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. That's right. A prophet is a soldier, man. A man of the Lord, the Yahweh and the Yahweh coming out preaching, presenting his body a living sacrifice for the gospel's sake. That, because anything can happen, man. Anything can happen. You know? That's a soldier. Now everybody can do that. It's like not everybody is meant to go to, into the war. Even though Esau has all these people in the, in the service, they're all a bunch of fucking feminine individuals, man. And then at that, you got women in there, which even make that more feminine. That rubs off the men. You know? But the men of the Lord, they're not like that. They don't get down. They're, they're austere... They're, they're, they're serious minded men They're about their father's business Doing the work man You know anything can happen That's why you have to be um, As it says thou, thou therefore in dear hardness As a good soldier of Yahweh Shammashiach That no, no man that wards Entangleth himself in the affairs of this life that, that he may please him Who had chosen him to be a soldier And you've been chosen to be a soldier man A man of the Lord <coughs> Let me get this one lined up. All right. It says, uh, And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. So if he strive lawfully for Yahweh Shai, right, you're going to be crowned. 